Hey everybody, it's Matthew. I'm in my garage. Um, the greenhouse is done, but we need a way to power it. We're going to use solar power to get this thing started, to power pumps, fans, and whatever, whatever else we hook up to it. So, I've got my solar panels. It's at 30 watts. And we are going to do a little bit of math this video to see how much we can actually power with 30 watts if we've got too much plugged into it. So hopefully, I, I hate math so much, but we're gonna have to figure it out to see if what we're using will actually power the greenhouse. So I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. Kinda have an idea, but I haven't really been into this thing yet either, so let's open this up and see what we got. So this kit has a lot of parts, but really doesn't have a lot of in, in the way for uh, instructions, so kind of found some brackets that were in there and didn't say how to put them on, but I put them on and I built a frame. Just a frame out of 2x4, so I'll be able to maybe set up the frame how I want it and hang that somehow. So that's what I'm going to do now. It's not level and it doesn't look pretty, but uh, I'm not a carpenter. So I've started hooking everything up. Um, same setup, I just cleaned it up a little bit. You have the battery, battery, uh, or you have the solar panel. Solar panel charges to the battery through the charge controller, so the battery can't overcharge and, and cause some damage there. And the battery goes to the power inverter. And from the inverter, we can then use 110 volt and we can charge uh, air pumps. I have two air pumps, well, three air pumps, two are the same. Probably only end up using one or two. And then uh, I have a power bar underneath that I can power everything else I need, pumps, or uh, I actually have a fan. Problem I had was, or I'm having, I haven't solved it yet, and I hope this will solve it, is whenever I plug something in, a certain amount, like it's a 400 watt inverter, but when I plug too much things in, this is probably still only like 50 watts, the uh, the inverter will reset. So everything will shut down and nothing works. So what I did, uh, I'm hoping that if I replace the cables coming off the battery to the power inverter with something a little bit more heavy duty, that I'll be able to get that allow uh, enough current to draw through the bigger cable and hopefully avoid things from shutting down. So I'm going to do that right now. So my great idea with this 400 watt inverter turned out to be garbage. It just cuts out every time. I think the cables even made it worse. Maybe it was drawing too much or I think this might be designed for more when you're running your car. Not so much when off a just a battery. Like I don't know. Pretty disappointed but I did have an older uh, 175 watt inverter that just plugs into a cigarette 
tray so plug that in and it looks like things are working good off of this setup so disappointed in the other one but at least it's working now so just got to figure out if everything will be able to run off of this off of just the sun all right then so let's look at ohm's law uh, p equals amperage times voltage and uh, so we're just going to look at all of our equipment here we have a greenhouse fan it's 0 0.4 amps at 120 volts and that gives us 48 watts. We also have a greenhouse water pump and that's going to be a total of 19.2 watts per hour and an air pump which is going to work out also to 19.2 watts per hour. So we will add all these together keeping in mind though that the water pump doesn't run 24 hours a day. It'll probably run about a minute 18 times, 18 times a day so that gives us about 0 0.3 hours total runtime. so add all that together. So let's look at Pukert's equation. Um, T is C divided by I uh, to the power of N. T is the time and hours that your battery is going to last. C is Pukert's capacity rating of the battery, not the one that you might see on it. I is the discharge current, so that would be how many amps, whatever is drawing, and N is going to be a constant. So we need to solve for C in Pukert's equation. My battery is a 95 amp hour battery rated at 20 hours. So we're just going to plug all that in to the formula um, that you see here and we should get the Pukert capacity for the battery. Then we can take that number, go back to the original equation and sub it in. So here we are able to solve saying our battery was drawing constantly 2 amps, how long our battery would last. And it works out to about 2.5 days. Okay, so let's say my 30 watt solar panel sees the sun about 13 hours a day. It should produce about 390 watts per day. But our current setup, everything I have, will probably be drawing 754 watts. So that means that we're actually going to be overdrawing by 365, and that's a pretty big problem. Alright, so it seems like I'm not going to be able to power everything like I wanted to, at least if that equation is even right. Um, there's a few problems with it. One is that Pukert's equation is based off of your amperage draw, and I won't always be drawing two amps, like I was just thinking of an average, and I won't always be drawing it 24 hours a day, so maybe my battery will last a little longer without a charge than it says. Um, as for calculating the wattage, of my pumps. It's strange because some of my pumps have a different, it'll say the voltage of it, the amperage of it, and the wattage will be different than multiplying your amperage and your voltage together. So it, some of my pumps are, have, when you calculate using Ohm's law, have less of a wattage rating on it than what's printed on it. So I don't know if anybody out there can explain that to me. So maybe if I'm lucky, some of my things will draw less than what I've calculated. Um, I wanted to do more with that Pukert's equation. I wanted to see how long it'd take to charge my battery with the solar panel and things like that, but it's kind of getting confusing up here, so maybe some of you guys can work it out better for your own projects. Uh, I'll provide links and stuff to some resources that I found useful. And that's about it. Uh, next video, I'll be finally putting the system together. I might let it run for two, three days without any plants in it just to see, kind of monitor the battery and see how things are going with that. If, if it dies, then I know, yeah, I might need another solar panel or I might need another battery or maybe even both. But that is it. That is it for this one, and the next one you will see a little bit more stuff, a little bit more with the greenhouse, and hopefully it will be running and pumping up some goodies.